everyone. I'm here to tell you about my essential oil business. Many of you know me from, I have the opportunity first of all to have two beautiful businesses. Many of you know me from both of them. Many of you know me from one or the other. But either way, tonight I'm here to share with you um, a little bit about my essential oil business. I'm part of a challenge called Spark the Change. And the challenge is for me to communicate my why with the world. <laughs> or at least everybody in my friends list. And um, it's definitely outside of my comfort zone, but um, I do believe that we need to stretch ourselves in different ways. And uh, it just, you know, makes us grow and feeds us. And it allows me to share with you um, you know, maybe the curiosity that some of you may have had or have. Um, so I guess I will start from the beginning of what got me on this path. I have immersed myself in the importance of nutrition and whole foods on the body for the last probably five years. It's something that I took a huge interest in. I'm not sure what sparked that, but um, I guess I've always had this um, this inner um, compass telling me that you know we need to take care of ourselves and it's our responsibility and you know to live a holistic life what that means um, and just to kind of be guided down where I felt was right for me so I believe we all come to a crossroads in our lives and we need to make a decision um, you know what path we're gonna take and this is the path I chose um, so I started with nutrition and the impact that nutrition can have on our body and I really believe and of course many other professionals believe that um, the, the foundation to a quality life starts with a good foundation of nutrition. So with where our food industry is going it's, it's really scary and I feel like there is a lot of awareness happening which is amazing. You know, it starts with learning how to read labels or doing the best that you can where you are, right? I know when I first started reading labels, I was like completely overwhelmed and frustrated and, you know, felt like giving up at times, but I kept going um, because I knew that it was my, again, it was my responsibility to be um, proactive in my life or to be reactive. And I kept on that journey and then essential oils landed in my lap. And not just any essential oils, the hallelujah of essential oils and the hallelujah of essential oil companies. So I was, I was gifted this incredible opportunity to share what I had learned and to share with as many people as were interested in also creating or sparking some change in their lives. Um, my biggest why is just a contribution to share what I have learned and share my journey and impact as many lives as I can through that. Um, I feel like um, me personally, I want to get to the end of my life and know that I did my best to really live it, not just survive it. And I think there's a big, big difference um, in those two. I also believe that you know, it's honoring our bodies is sacred and, you know, self-love and self-care and really pouring into ourselves radiates out. And when we teach ourselves to honor our bodies and knowing that what we put on our skin, what we're spraying in our homes for cleaners and air fresheners and all these different pockets of our lives, we can clean up using pure quality, amazing essential oils. And it really is so simple. It's just you have to commit to say yes and then, um, you know, being part of a community like mine and learning the path and learning what's right for you and what's not maybe resonating with you at that moment. But my biggest why is just is impacting lives and, and showing people that running towards nature is is so much more beautiful than running against it. And, you know, when I really got into essential oils, I knew that 
the beauty industry was one of the most toxic industries out there. It's really unbelievable how so many things are unregulated. And you know, for a long time, I had the impression or the assumption that there were higher powers or policymakers or people above us that were taking care of us and that there's no way that things would end up on the shelves if they weren't consumable um, to be safe. You know, I thought, well, no, somebody's watching out for us. There's some kind of industry standard. There's some kind of organization. And I think we're all intelligent enough to know at this point that, you know, in the pharmaceutical world, in, in healthcare, you know, healthcare is changing. The medical, the conventional medical model is changing and it's changing through us changing and, and demanding it. And I think that, you know, when we, when we vote with our dollars, we make a huge impact on where the future is going, where the future lies with us and with our children. Um, so, you know, creating this ripple effect of showing people that there is another way, that essential oils are a, a, such a beautiful modality and these, these essence that we can bring into our lives and um, get rid of the clutter and the noise around us and and start with making the change in our homes and you know maybe sharing it with friends and family and going from there i mean i was i was blessed with this ridiculous opportunity to share these oils in the sense of you know creating a business and making a living out of it but really it's making a living out of it is a side effect i mean um, i know that i'm aligned with the right company the right product the right mission when I feel a hundred percent confident that I would share these oils anyway without any currency attached so I love being able to empower women not just women very um, many men are interested in making changes in their lives and understanding the impact um, I know that I've blessed many family members with these oils and I've also seen through personal experience, the path that the conventional medical model can offer. And I'm not saying that we don't need it, because we do, there's definitely a time and a place, but being proactive in our health and taking back that ownership that we've kind of put on other people is, is where it's at. And, you know, I've seen people walk down that medical path and they really don't feel better. They're, they're literally just surviving. And they're not, they're not, they lose their vibrancy and there's just so much going on, going on in our world with our children and there's so many people with, with diseases and, you know, there's, there's got to be a mis missing um, piece to the puzzle and it's, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a, a collaborative of, a collective of many things, you know, the food we eat, the things we put on our bodies, in our bodies, the, the sprays and all the chemicals we have in our homes. I mean, the average woman puts on a thousand chemicals in a day. Um, and that doesn't even seem like, how is that possible? But when you really break it down, um, you begin to see it begins to unravel and a snowball effect, ha a, a snowball effect happens. And you begin, you begin to just ignite this, ignite the spark within you to create this, the change in your life. And um, I'm just really proud to be part of that. And I'm really proud to be um, part of this movement that's happening where I can do my little part and change as many lives as, as you know, people that come into contact with me want that change. And... You know, um, I've got many different layers of whys, but that's my big one, the toxicity, the industry, the misleading labels, the misleading advertising, that angers me, that frustrates me. I feel like people need to know another way. They want to know another way. They're hungry to know another way. And I'm here to support them in their journeys, in their journey through that. You know, we're all goddesses inside, all women anyway, and, um, we need to find that we need to take our power back. So, and also um, the other layer of this why is the impact that this company has on it, on the environment. The environment matters to me a lot. 
um, the sustainable practices that are used and the initiatives. And I feel like this company is more about giving, giving, giving rather than taking, taking, taking. And that, and through their sustainable practices and co-impact sourcing initiatives, it's just something that I want to align myself with and partner with and, you know, um, be the change that we all wish to see. So, and um, anyway, so that's, that's my why, that's my um, deep rooted why. And um, I hope I can share these oils with you one day. If um, part of this challenge is to like, share and comment on this post. Um, and also when you do that, I will enter you into a draw to win one of my favorite essential oils. It's called Wild Orange. It's the most amazing essential oil there is. I mean, I can't say it's my favorite because I have a lot of favorites, but it's, it's just sunshine in a bottle. And you can wear it as perfume. You can, you know, use it as a detoxifier and so many different things. But anyway, I will enter you you, you to win a wild orange if you like, comment, or share this video. So please share the love and thank you for listening. And I, I hope to talk to as many of you as are interested in learning another approach. Um, and happy holidays.